in a few seconds it will actually show me the time i have on my screen right and the fun fact about this is that this is a recorded video so how does it know that it's 9 37 or 38 let's see which time it will show 9 37 am right and the voice actually says the am and bm as well in this video we will literally decode how the source code of the matrix works let's go if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow this video is a part of code dams t-shirt giveaway program for the month if you want to take part and win an amazing code dam t-shirt all you have to do is leave a comment on this video about what you think and that's it you are eligible if your comment gets a heart from code dam you will win a t-shirt for absolutely free so before getting into what the source code of the matrix is let's just go ahead and see what this official sites look like you see that if you visit this url you will have a classic matrix question in front of you taking the red pill or the blue pill but the fun fact about this website is when you pick a pill let's say red pill a video plays which exactly shows the time on your computer right so it's 9 37 a.m at my end so you'll see that if I just mute the music, in a few seconds, it will actually show me the time I have on my screen, right? And the fun fact about this is that this is a recorded video. So how does it know that it's 9.37 or 38? Let's see which time it will show, 9.37 a.m., right? And the voice actually says the a.m. and b.m. as well. So this is interesting. Let's just see how this works. And for this, we have to take a look at the source code of the matrix website all right so first things first you can see the moment i click on this red pill or any sort of pill you see that we start getting some video request with some random name right and this is the url which says generated v7 slash high and then some sort of string which gives us this video and we can just confirm by opening this video in a new tab and you will see that this pretty much is the same video which shows me the exact time which i have on my system right now let's see which is 9 39 am right which is again correct so you can see this is a single recording right and the best guess for that is it has recorded all these videos beforehand somebody recorded all these videos and it just gets played right but i still wanted to go a little bit deeper in the code and figure out how this string is generated now on the first look it seemed like a random string to me but then i started looking and saw how this string is actually constructed so skipping all the boring stuff we arrive here which is the part responsible for creating that piece of string so what it does is first of all i mean you can pretty much ignore everything going on here and just focus on what i'm telling you it takes the new time right now and gets the hours the minutes and the seconds from that so what this line essentially is doing this is the line which runs time dot two time string so it's doing basically if i just copy this whole thing and just do this and if I do new date dot two time string, you can see I get the hour, minute, and second of my time right now, right? And then this just splits it and separates every single digit, right? So if I let's say if I click on this red pill, you can see right here the O is actually the splitted digits of the time. So it's 9, 41, and 25 seconds. And what you all do in this part of the script is you generate a new string which is something like this so just pay close attention to this this string is generated as red which is the pill i clicked then some random choice they have picked out where they just separated with a b c d e and they just concatenate these nine zero nine four one two five numbers with the string right so they get this one single string for some reason they have chosen a dash b then dash c then dash d and e they might have their own choice but that's pretty much it what it does now the interesting part actually begins when you call i dot a on this b i dot a is a function you get that string which is the magical string right and i was curious like how is this happening how does we get the string at all so i kept looking i kept going into that rabbit hole and you can see i dot a function calls this function right here which is again some obfuscated weird stuff but you don't have to worry about this what it does that it calls another function but concatenates it with a 17. now again 
some weird choice i'm not sure why the developers did that but final result here is when you run this you have the final string as the following 17 then the color of the pill you clicked dash a dash b hour minute second so on right all right so this is fine but what actually i did not understood for a very long time i have been like thinking about the logic for this is how this c function worked right this c function which you see right here this function is just absolute garbage, right? And it seemed like the source code of the matrix, to be honest. If you look at this function, I mean, let alone, let's just forget about the function that is in, in itself is calling, but you can see it just toggles between AMD, AMDB, AMDB arguments and assigns the value over and over again. This seems like an almost impossible way to, you know, reverse this function. So this is where I was not able to think how to proceed forward. So I went for a walk and guess what? I was still not able to figure out how it works, but I tried Googling these random numbers, right? Because these numbers seemed like way too specific and I figured out that this might be some algorithm or something. And what I discovered was that all this function is doing is performing an MD5 hash of this string right here. That's that's the plan, that's, that's what they are doing, right? So what they do is they generate this whole string, 17, with the pill name, the pill color, then the time encoded between A, B, C's and D's and so on. They take the MD5 of this and this is 4368 is the basically the MD5 of this. And if you think about this, what this returns, if we just step out of the function, you will see that this right here, i.a of D actually gives you the same string which we had right here as computed, right? So you can see this essentially is the MD5, which to be honest is embarrassing because it seems like MD5 on the first look, it has the length of 32 and you know, the characteristics of that, but I felt like this was just a random string, but no, this was in fact an MD5 string. So this is how the matrix website is working. They create this weird string consisting of the pill color with a 17 appended for some reason, I have no idea why, with A, B, and the times timestamps included in between take its md5 slap it in front of generated v7 high and this again this is an s3 bucket if you visit this you can see they have a you know an access designed s3 policy and yep once you have the correct md5 you can pretty much see the video for that so maybe i mean it's possible to just write a script to generate all the 1440 minutes i think there are 1440 minutes in a day so all the 1440 variants from 12 in the noon 12 in the morning to all the way back to 11 55 59 pm so yep i mean feel free to write a script post it on github and leave a comment what do you think about this matrix source code did you enjoy how we debugged it and if yes would you like me to make more videos more such videos about this let me know in the comments below that is all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one really soon